Hello, welcome to Fast Abs. Bringing you a little something different here, bringing the exercise ball in. Yes, it is good for more than just sitting on. So if you have one of these laying around your house, now's a great time to go ahead and grab it. And uh, when you're short on time, feel like that you need a little bit of a pick-me-up, get exercise in, nothing more than to focus on that core, solid foundation where all of our strength starts from. So we have six exercises. And each exercise we're gonna do for 40 seconds with a 15 second rest transition in between. And then once we complete those six exercises, you have 45 second rest before we do it all over again. So you have two rounds. Each round has six exercises for 40 seconds a piece. This will be done in less than 12 minutes, but make sure that you properly warm yourself up. So maybe give yourself about 15, 16 minutes total time to warm up and then cool down. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Line on your back. You're gonna bring the ball between your legs and we're gonna start with reverse crunch, option to add in a leg extension. So here we go. Legs between, feet grabbing the ball, arms down by your side for rest or support. Try not to use your leg, your arms too much. Extend your legs out, then you're gonna crunch those knees in, lift, lift that lower back off of your mat. Extend out and lift extending out and lift. When you extend those legs out, make sure the lower back is still attached to your mat so it doesn't come off when you extend those legs out. Then lift the lower back when you crunch in. Keep it going. Here we go. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend out. All right, you have that rest transition, 15 seconds. Our next exercise, we are gonna stay on our backs. It's called the windmill. Keeping the ball between our feet, coming back down onto our backs, arms out to a T for support. This windmill, we're gonna lower our legs down to the right as far as you can with control, using those side obliques to pull the ball back up over towards the other side, trying to really eliminate working the arms. This is supposed to be side core. If the straight legs is too much, go ahead and bend your knees and then you can shorten the lever up by having a bent knee and really using that exhale, squeezing that ball, squeezing everything in to come back up to the center. Inhale, lower to the side, exhale to come to the center. Inhale to the side, exhale to the center. Again, option for straight leg. And your time is up. Go ahead and take that 15 second rest, also known as the transition. Staying on our backs. We have a ball transfer, so keeping the ball between our feet once again. Extend the legs up. You're gonna reach up, grab the ball, lower the legs down, extend the ball over your head. Lift back up and lower. Trying to get your back up as high as you can when you reach up for that ball and lowering the legs down as close to the ground as you can. Again, when you're lowering those legs, keep that back attached to the mat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. All right, moving on. 15 seconds transition. Here we go. We have plank. Option to add a knee tuck in here. So in this plank position, start at the back of your mat. Gently roll, walk yourself out. Come as far out as you can, trying to get those toes onto that ball. Tuck those knees in, and then you extend out. Tuck in, extend out. Option just to hold this plank. And if you really want to add in more, you can add a little push up. Tuck the knee in, extend out, add a little push up. Tuck in, extend out, add a little push up. These are tough, so choose your pathway. And safely coming out, walk yourself back out. And we're gonna come down to the mat once again. We are gonna do side V ups. Pick a side, doesn't matter. You're gonna do both here. Squeeze the ball between your feet once again. Forearm down here for support, for a little bit of rest. Squeeze and lift, lift, 
lift, lift, Woo. feeling the burn already, lift, trying to lift as high as you can, squeezing that ball is also giving you a little inner thigh workout as well, feeling it nice in the lower abdominal section, side obliques, Whew. almost there. And one. All right, come back over. Come over to the other side. Placing that ball between your feet. Forearm down here for support. Have a little bit of an angle with your legs, making a V. And here we go, 40 seconds. Really working that core. Also these inner thighs here. Who doesn't want to like a little inner thigh work? The harder you squeeze that ball, the more you're going to work those inner thighs. The higher you lift, the more you're going to work the core. Staying with it. Here we go. Finishing off this is our last exercise before we take our break and do it all over again. Fast abs. All right, you have a 45 second break before we start at the top and repeat these six exercises all over again, starting with the reverse crunch, leg extension, 30 seconds remain. If you're so eager, you can also start early and add a little extra in there or use this time for your break, grab a sip of water. All right, I'm gonna come back down to my back, starting with the reverse crunch, leg extension. Coming down and we begin in 10 seconds. Here we go, squeezing the ball. Light little grip with the hands. Don't press into the floor with your arms as you try to utilize and squeeze. Here we go, crunch in, extend the legs out. Option to lift those forearms off of that floor if you find that you're pressing into the floor. This is supposed to be your core workout. So using that core, to bring that ball in. Extending those legs out, stabilizing the lower back. When you extend the legs, the back is still attached to that floor, attached to that mat. Don't let it lift off. Only time you want it to lift off is when you need crunch in. Extend out, crunch in, extend out. Hang in there. All right, you got your 15 seconds of rest, staying onto our backs, keeping that ball between our feet. We're moving into those windmills. You can either have your legs bent or straight leg to add a little bit more resistance, lengthening that lever. Here we go, arms out to the side to a T, lower down to one side, squeezing that ball. Really use those core to lift back up to the center. No cheating, don't use those arms. Flip those palms up if you're trying to use your arms too much. Or better yet, you can hold them into the center. Now you're really focusing on keeping it all together. Even if you're not lowering very far, if your arms are in your center, really focusing. Ooh, this is good. Again, you can bend those knees. All right. 15 seconds rest right here. Getting you ready for our next one, ball transfer. Still staying onto our backs. We're gonna squeeze that ball between our feet. Raise that ball up. And we are gonna begin. Reach up, grab that ball, lower the legs, reach the ball over your head, lowering down as far as you can. Trying to lift your upper back off that mat as high as you can. Reach up, grab that ball. Lowering down with control. Woo. I'm gonna feel this one tomorrow. Almost there. Stay with it. All right, here we go. Woo. You got that 15 second rest. Transition coming to that plank here. So come to the back of your mat belly onto your ball. You're gonna walk 
roll yourself out so that the tops of your feet are on the very edge of that ball makes it more challenging. You can either just hold your high plank here, draw that belly button into your spine, keep your neck nice and soft, gazing between your hands, or add that tuck in, tuck in and out, in and out. Move with control. Also, we can add that little push up if you want. High plank, little push up, then you tuck in. Woo. Adds a little extra juiciness in there. All right, walk your hands back nice and slow until your feet touch the ground. And then pick a side down to those side V ups. Here we go. Ball between your feet. Squeeze that ball nice. Forearm down for support. And the front arm's here for support as well. And lift, lift. Doing great. Exhale, lift. Inhale as you lower, keep it going. You can also do this at a nice slow, really super slow and controlled, I promise you. It's just as good of a workout, if not more, when you have to slow yourself down. Here we go. All right, flip it over to the other side. Last one, quick, fast abs. Just what we need, forearm down for support, front arm in front of for support as well. And here we go, we're gonna lift up. I'll switch over so you can see a little bit better. There we go, lift, lift. Let's try the little slowness here. Lift up nice and slow, lower slow. Up for two and down for two. Changing the pace, up for two, down for two. Up, two, down, two, Woo. Keep going, hang in there. Almost there. Don't sink into that forearm. Here we go, let's get one more in there for good measure, all the way up and down, Woo. Excellent work. Fast abs right there. Now, if you have a little extra time and you want a little extra boost, then do that one more round. Add a third round in there. Really maximize your core work, strengthen the trunk area so that we can become stronger day to day. Really important to have a strong core section, help support the lower back, which helps us through our day to day motion as well. It's all connected around here. Can't emphasize that part anymore. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, little Tahoe is there as well. You came to join us too. So um, until next time, aloha.